As those of you in Edgewater and Annapolis are finding out, it takes years to recover. Let's take you back to November 2018 when that deadly tornado struck the Amazon warehouse in southeast Baltimore. Yeah, John Gavin was born, raised, and by a miracle still lives in Pasadena. He was destined to die on the job that November night, but he somehow made it out. And tonight, for the very first time, he's telling his story of surviving a tornado. It's been 1,061 nights since the tornado struck. I do think about it at almost every day. Uh, it's hard not to. John Gavin was working as a part-time contractor, helping out a friend here at the Amazon warehouse. The roof actually did a wave. And uh, as the waves going by us, uh, Andrew yelled, run. Andrew is Andrew Lindsay. At 54, he came to Baltimore with his dog, Buddy, from Oklahoma. One of my first questions was, how many tornadoes have you been in? And he told me, he said that he's seen a whole lot, but he's never been in any. And uh, for him to come here in Baltimore and be life taken by a tornado is something I can, I'll never figure out. When Andrew yelled, run, John used 32 years of what he thought was mundane safety training at CSX, something he did year after year, always have a place for shelter. Well, he found it underneath where 168,000 Amazon packages are sorted every day. I prayed. I, I really prayed and I said, God, if, if the rest of this roof comes down, I hope this sorter platform can hold it. Because if not, then I'm, I'm gone. The roof disappeared and then the wall was gone. That wall came down and uh, I've been around a lot of noises in my life, um, but there was nothing like that when that wall came down. John called his wife to tell her that he had made it, but Andrew didn't. He was found buried in the rubble, raced to the hospital where he didn't make it. But John is dealing with another loss. He didn't know another co-worker was missing, Israel Espana. That was that, that was the part that really bothered me because I never told the fire department about Mr. Espana, um, thinking that maybe he was still alive had I known, had I told the, the uh, fire department about him that night. Another twist to this tornado story is that a young man was supposed to work John Schiff that night. This young man's father caught up with John just recently. Listen. His dad seemed to think that uh, God made me stay there that night because I knew where to go and his son wouldn't. So <laughs> it's uh, kind of strange, but uh, yeah. And after all this, guess who's taking care of Andrew's dog, Buddy? I had a lot of friends tell me uh, God must have had other plans for me. John was in the building about a year ago and he said he had to, had to face his fears, had to relive his worst moment in his life and he's doing better now, but this will never fade away. Glad he shared his story with us. Yeah.